My name is Anton Karan, I'm the Chief of the Software Products for Member States Unit at UNODC, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. This unit uh, develops and maintains software that serve the mandates of UNODC in fighting financial crime, uh, money laundering, terrorist financing, uh, drug trafficking, and several other uh, areas that fall under the mandates and the thematic pillars of UNODC. One of our main softwares is GoML. It is used by hundreds of thousands of users in the world and close to 70 member states today. Uh, we were approached by the Asian Development Bank a couple of years ago related to a, an effort that they were leading uh, to combat TBML, uh, trade-based money laundering. I actually uh, realized that the governance model of GoML, whereby countries vote for features and that's all it takes for these features to become available globally, uh, would be effective in solving this problem. And uh, soon enough, the Asian Development Bank had approached several member states and identified five to seven member states that had a lot of interest and that had a lot of stake in having these features developed for them to be able to report and combat better this form of crime. A sort of financial crime that has global repercussions. It is precise and particular because of the granularity, because of the channels that it takes place, because of the specifics related to containers, shipment information, and because of the long queues of supply chains and trade chains where it can happen. Working with the Asian Development Bank has been an experience that was quite significant for me and for us uh, in the last couple of years. If it wasn't for a flexible model of uh, governance, there was no way that an external party that belonged to different perhaps uh, sectors or maybe even the private sector uh, would be able to have an impact in the features and the design and the strategy of this product.